In this lecture, we will play through the app that we created. Let's run the app on an emulator by clicking the Run button at the top of Android Studio. When the emulator starts up and the app loads, we will see the main screen for our app with the Rick and Morty background that we added and three buttons, Characters, Locations, and Episodes. Clicking the Characters button loads the images and names of characters in the show, and clicking one of the character images loads the details about that character. To get back to the main screen, we can hit the back button on the emulator, and then the back button again. Next up is the locations button. Clicking it will display a list of the different Rick and Morty locations. Notice that if we scroll to the bottom, another API call is made, and more names of locations are displayed. Clicking the name of a location will display the details, and also show a scroll list of characters that are from that location. Let's go back to the app's main screen by clicking the back button twice. Clicking the Episodes button will load a list of the episodes and their season and episode number. Then clicking an episode will load the details screen for that episode, along with the list of characters that appear in the episode. Great job! Not only did you build a cool and culturally relevant Rick and Morty app, but you used your Java programming skills to build an app that has API calls and uses industry-level coding techniques like pagination and caching for mobile optimization. In the next lecture, we will look at a recap of what we learned in this section of the course.